Yo, 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 what is up Halo community? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So we just got some major news about some kind of world premiere happening on the final day of the Orlando Major HCS tournament. So if you didn't know, they're actually doing a throwback throwdown for Halo 3's anniversary. And so people were expecting this to happen on Halo 3 because of course, you know, it's it's all about Halo 3, but it's actually going to happen on Halo Infinite, which some people were a little salty about, which I would completely understand why because it doesn't really make much sense on why you would play Infinite for uh, Halo 3's anniversary. But we started to get a little bit more info about what's going to happen. And that is the fact that, yeah, they're going to be showcasing something. Of course, most people are saying that it's probably going to be Halo 3 maps that are coming to Halo Infinite. And I do think they're going to be Forge made, not Dev made. But anyways, the whole point is that, yeah, we might possibly be getting Halo 3 maps. And so some people thought, well, maybe it's just going to be like some lame cosmetic or like a nameplate and that's it. Thankfully, though, uh, Tashi did confirm that it's not because otherwise that would be pretty upsetting and I'm not gonna lie that's probably the first thing I would have expected but thankfully he actually confirmed that it's not a cosmetic as he says here it's not a cosmetic or something for the store and so what other people were saying is that maybe it's Halo 3 anniversary now obviously I think that's a bit of a stretch we also got confirmation about that from Unishek he pretty much just says that it's not Halo 3 anniversary so that's nice that we got some info about that although Honestly, that would have been huge if that happened, but uh, yeah, I just don't think that's very likely. But uh, yeah, that would have been absolutely insane if it was. And so people were now thinking, well, maybe it's not even Halo 3 related. Maybe it's the BR, because right, there's been so many leaks about Halo getting a BR. So maybe it's like a new mode or something like that. And so Tashi also gave us some info about this. So Tashi did actually reply to this, and he said that they're not announcing a whole new game slash experience. So don't expect anything uh, too major, pretty much, is what he's saying there. So now let's go ahead and get into some info on why exactly it's pointing towards possibly being Halo 3 maps being brought into Halo Infinite. The first source is a podcast that Joe Staten was a guest to. I believe it's called like the X cast or something. I'll definitely leave a link to it down below so you guys can check it out yourself. Anyways, there's a point in this podcast where they ask if they ever plan to bring back maps from you know previous halo games into infinite pretty much what joe staten says is that you know it sounds like a good idea and that he can't share much about it or something like that i'd like to ask this because i i get this one a lot in the community i was actually in the spaces the other day talking about halo and this one came up a couple times uh the common i think misconception and maybe you can clear this up is why don't you just bring back the the maps from the old games and put them into halo infinite and that could kind of be a buffer while we have this extended season. Can you kind of explain why you can or cannot do that with just the flip of a switch? That's a good idea, Paris. <laughs> oh. I mean, all, all, all kidding aside, like, yeah. uh, I, I can talk about some things, but I can't talk about it. Right. Like, there are some great Halo maps. Um, I think we all have our personal favorite. Guardian, Gulch, Pit. Like, there are a lot of maps that are awesome, right? I think it'd be awesome to play on those maps again. Don't, don't you guys? Like, that sounds like a fun thing. I, I, I think it would be a fantastic yeah. thing. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll, I'll mark that in my... Yeah. That in my oh, little, okay. I'm taking my full credit for it if, if it happens. How about that? <laughs> Even brings up, like, a specific map, like Guardian and stuff. Yeah, it definitely sounds like they're interested about bringing uh, previous Halo maps into Halo Infinite. So our second source here is a live stream, a community stream that 343 themselves hosted. And this was during one of the events. I think it was actually like the start of season two or something like that. I honestly forgot. But it was during one of the narrative events. Uh, they were doing like a community live stream for it. And I believe Unishek asked Tiana, hopefully I pronounced her name right. But um, he basically asked uh, what's her favorite Halo 3 map. They were kind of having like some kind of conversation. Um, and yeah, pretty much just led to them talking about Halo 3. I just, I guess, favorite map overall, I would say, for Halo 3. And I, I think Lone Wolf's played on it. Um, I mean, it's been a while. But uh, Guardian. I just, oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. the map Guardian. design. Yeah. Like that circular center and then, like, so many places you could drop to and, and jump and and mantle. Yeah. Was there a... Did, did you have a specific setup uh, that you kind of ran? Any specific location you kind of held and so she pretty much just mentions a certain part of the map i think the center part and that she likes that there's like certain parts you can mantle or something like that 
And if you've played Halo 3, well, you definitely do know that there's no such thing as clambering or mantling. You know, none of that advanced movement stuff existed back in Halo 3. So it was a little bit, uh, it was pretty sus, let's just say that. Hopefully you didn't just cringe there, but, um... I'm pretty sure anyone who played Halo 3 wouldn't say mantling or anything like that, so, um, yeah, it definitely was a little strange. Another thing I heard around in Twitter is the fact that Unishek actually stopped by someone's stream. Um, I don't know specifically. I tried looking for the tweet, but I, I literally couldn't find it. It was just lost in the sea of, uh, Twitter. Now, of course, you gotta take this with, like, a huge grain of salt because I don't know if it's true and I can't really confirm it, but I'm just gonna throw this out there because it is quite interesting and it does sound like a possibility but uh yeah definitely take this with a huge grain of salt but um on twitter i saw someone tweet out i don't remember who it was or where it was i tried to look for it i literally couldn't find it but um someone said that apparently unishek stopped by someone's stream who was remaking guardian in like the leaked forge build so apparently he stopped by and told them that like if he could get like in some sort of contact with them um and so that kind of le led to some speculation about maybe they're getting some forgers to make some halo 3 maps in forge you know so they could release it for this uh world's premiere thing so it is a little uh little interesting take it for what you will it was just some random tweet i found on twitter um so i can't really confirm if it's legit but I mean, it's definitely got to be something Halo 3 related, right? It's either going to be maps or like a classic playlist. I mean, what else could it be? What else could it be? So yeah, you guys, that's pretty much all the info we got on this world premiere stuff. Um, a lot of signs are pointing towards it being Halo 3 map remakes uh, coming to Infinite, whether it's Forge or DevMade, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. It could be no maps and it could just be a classic playlist, which is what I'm starting to kind of lean towards. Because if you think about it, um, I, I don't remember where, but I, I believe they did say that adding Forge maps is a lot easier than, you know, creating their own maps or something. Um, it wasn't like word, it wasn't worded that way, but it was something like that. You know, Forge maps are just easier to implement into the game. But if that was true, then why the heck do we have to wait till November to play on some other Forge maps, which are called... I think it was Detachment and like Argyle or something like that. And so those are Forge maps and we have to wait till November. So it does make me think that, I don't know, are we going to get Halo 3 map remakes or Forge maps, whatever? Are we really going to be getting those maps added to Infinite in a few days? I just, I don't know. I find that a little hard to believe because, I mean, we're not getting Forge maps until November. Um, if you look at the roadmap, you know, the two new maps those are completely made in forge so it does make me a little a little uh it does make me a little skeptical i feel like it might not be maps so with that being said let me know what you guys think and consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support really helps me out and we're almost at 1k subs you guys it would be absolutely amazing if we could actually hit that on the day on halo 3's anniversary that would be absolutely amazing and a day to remember that's for sure <laughs> anyways thanks for watching i'll see you guys on the next one peace